In uh, this project, uh, we are going to create a travel application icon. And uh, as you can see, at the beginning, things will start a bit differently. I mean, I got a, I search online for a like a globe earth um, image, and this is what I found. So I just copied it and pasted it into, into Affinity Designer. I also have a travel document color palette right here. And uh, we are going to start first by tracing these two continents. So uh, what do I mean by that? What I would like to create is I would like to create a, a very rough, flat, designy outline of uh, these uh, continents. And uh, for that, I'm just going to grab the pen tool. And I'm going to make sure that I have the stroke active and I'm just going to maybe make it uh, something like very distinct, something that you can see. Uh, easily and I guess one point should be enough and what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to just click and again let me just make it one point I'm just going to click like that without dragging just to trace the rough uh, outline of this image so maybe down here somewhere here so I'm not clicking and dragging I'm just clicking just to get a rough sketch right here and then I'm gonna down here to South America and I guess here we can just go maybe to somewhere here this should be all right now let's go back to here and then let's go up. There we go. Maybe here. Now we basically are just clicking and dragging to get the rough outline. But of course, once we have, mm, once we create all these elements, we still can adjust them but let me just show you how to do it in just a second. First, we need to go north to Canada and just to trace these parts. Now, if you want to trace all these islands very meticulously, you can do that. But as I said, I'm just going to create a rough outline of these elements uh, right here, maybe down here do something like this and then just go up and then I'm just going to find the first anchor point click on it to finish this shape and this is what it looks like right now we still have to trace the Greenland and uh, these islands right uh, here so I'm just going to click again somewhere here I want to you know, I want to create a second shape for, for Greenland because, you, as you can see, it's uh, of a different color. So I think we should follow this. And let me just finish mm, it. Uh, I think this should be all right. There we go. And lastly, let's go down here. And again, with the pen tool, let's trace these guys down here. And then these guys down here, like that. And I think this should be all right. So we got this curve and let me just maybe sample, uh, sample this color. There we go. And we also have this curve. So let me again just sample this color. And I guess, uh, I guess this should do it. I think, um, I mean, if you want to trace all these smaller islands, all these elements, that's going to be totally up to you. What I would like to just uh, share with you is uh, the technique of adjusting all these uh, anchor points, all these nodes. So with the node tool, we can still select uh, any shape. And if we just zoom in a little bit closer, we can move them around maybe to somewhere here. And this guy maybe somewhere here. So I'm simply just clicking and dragging grabbing an uh, individual anchor point maybe we can go down here to just adjust all these uh, all these shapes so we don't really have to be like spot on the first time because we can always just grab the note tool 
and then just move some some of these nodes, some of these anchor points uh, around. Maybe this guy just a bit more. Maybe this guy. These guys should be all right. We could maybe adjust them a little bit right here and maybe right here. You know, this, um, well, once we finish mm, this icon, uh, these continents, these shapes are going to be pretty small. So you don't have to be overly precise, but I guess it's a good idea just to make them a little bit more precise, mm, just so they look a bit more natural. Also, if you're feeling that you could use some more nodes on a given path segment, like for instance right here, with the node tool you can just click on a path segment to add a node and then we can just simply uh, grab it. So click on a path segment, grab it and move it. Click on a path segment, grab it and move it. So once all these guys are created, we can for instance fill this part, the, well, the Greenland with a nice uh, color, this white uh, color. We can fill these pink continents with uh, this uh, green color. And of course, what we still have to do is we have to like fit these continents inside mm, an ellipse. So I'm just going to grab the ellipse tool and create an ellipse that is going to look uh, more or less like this. Let me just exchange the fill with the stroke and maybe I'm just going to make the fill uh, the stroke yellow just so we can see it uh, a bit better. Uh, I guess we could maybe make the the world just a bit smaller. There we go. So now we can just grab all these elements, all the continents. Maybe it will be easier to do from um, from the layers panel and I'm just going to cut all them out grab the ellipse and again just use the insert inside the selection mode and just press ctrl v to fit those continents uh, inside my ellipse. So now once I just turn uh, the, uh, the underlying image off you can see that we got this uh, well this whole shape uh, created. Of course we are not done yet we still have to uh, we still have to add the proper colors and we have to turn all these elements into like the main part of a magnifying a magnifying glass. So let's uh, start doing that next. So the first thing that I'll do is I'm going to add the proper color to my uh, earth. So I'm just going to grab this ellipse, this guy right here. And uh, I don't want it to have a yellow stroke. So I'm just going to get rid of it by pressing uh, the uh, the slash key on my keyboard and I'm going to initialize uh, the fill tool by pressing X and then I'm just going to fill it with this blue color. But uh, I don't want this uh, this shape to look that flat. I would like to add some some definition to it. So what I mean by that is uh, I'm just gonna grab the fill tool and I'm going to change the, 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 the fill from solid to a gradient, but not the linear, but the elliptical gradient. And uh, as soon as I do that, Designer is uh, giving me some default uh, value. So if my initial blue was this blue, this left blue right here, it's giving me a lighter blue here uh, at uh, the end, at the other end. But uh, if I, if you can see right now, it's um, it's not looking all that nice. I would like this gradient to be reversed. I would like it to go from uh, the darker to lighter in the center. So what we have to do is we simply have to press reverse. And now you can see that we can actually create something like an illusion of a, of a sphere that's going to look uh, more or less like this. I think that, I think that it, uh, it looks all right. So now we can just grab our ellipse and as you can see, all these elements are inside my ellipse. So if I just check the, the dimensions, as you can see, it's 230 by 230. I can now just grab the ellipse tool and create an ellipse that is going to be just a bit bigger, something like maybe 240 by 240. And I want to turn this uh, ellipse into a magnifying glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with this darker color, this dark blue color, and I'm going to put it all the way to the back 
by pressing this move to back uh, option, well, this button here uh, in the toolbar. I'm just going to move it uh, somewhere here. And of course we could grab both of them and make sure that they are nicely aligned to the center. This should be all right. And now maybe we could, um, you know what, let's clone it. So we now have two identical ellipses and this guy on top is gonna be white or this really, really light gray color. And this underlying ellipse is simply going to be slightly bigger till it looks um, more or less like this. Of course, we could grab this underlying lighter ellipse and make it just a bit bigger, but that's just going to be totally up to you. I think that it looks, uh, I think it looks fine. So once all these guys are created, I'm going to make them just a bit smaller to somewhere here. And now I'm going to create a handle for my uh, magnifying glass. So I'm just going to grab uh, the pen tool again, click somewhere here, hold down the shift key and click maybe somewhere here. And of course this handle needs to have the same color as our, well, this main shape uh, of our magnifying glass. So we're going to make sure that uh, the stroke is selected, add a proper stroke color to it, then go to the stroke panel and just increase the width of my stroke, uh, maybe, maybe to somewhere here. I guess this should be all right. So now we got the uh, the handle, we got the magnifying glass, and we got the world inside. And at this stage, if you would like to maybe change some things about it, of course you still can. For instance, you could grab uh, this world shape right here and you can twirl open this ellipse and you can have access to all the individual pieces. And uh, if you want, you can of course still maybe make uh, this, uh, well, this handle uh, just a bit thicker. Well, if you want to, but remember that uh, once you do this guy thicker, once you turn it thicker, you would have to turn this uh, shape, this outside shape just a bit thicker, just so just so you know, everything looks nice and proportionate. Let me just move it a bit to the side. So there we go. We got this guy uh, created. So we can now just put it again uh, against a nicely looking background. But before we do that, let me just grab this, uh, this shape right here, go to the layer panel and just choose expand stroke. I don't want this guy to be a stroke anymore. I want it to be a nicely filled shape. So now I'll just borrow this background, this guy right here, copy it over to my travel document and I will fill it uh, with this yellow color. And of course it needs to be filled with yellow, not stroke, uh, stroked with a yellow color. And uh, let me just uh, maybe grab my main shape, all these guys right here, and we can just group them. And now I'm just going to make them significantly smaller. Put them over here and put them all the way up. So I'm just going to use this move to front option. And there we go. We basically got our uh, shape created. Of course, all we need is to align everything nicely. We can now just group them. And I'm just going to copy them over our smartphone and just paste this guy in and move it down here. Let me just zoom in to see if everything is properly aligned. This should be fine. So there we go. We got the travel application icon created. So we used the pen tool. We used some elliptical gradients. And I think that this, this application icon looks nice.